All right, working on a little bit of technique here today, a little bit of funk technique. We'll go over a few things uh, as far as the styles and uh, different things that I do that are a little bit different, uh, maybe some than some other bass players. One of the things I do is I use a uh, sometimes a double pluck uh, off your two fingers. Uh, the first one's almost like a little bit of a spit, like a. practice that and learn that was by just basically taking an octave, a D or a, a C or whatever, it doesn't matter, uh, and then taking your fingers, and I'm kind of fortunate in the fact that my pointer finger is a little significantly shorter than the other one is, so I can lay it when I lay it under the strings. I can get that little spit right before that, kind of a little ghost note right before the actual plug. So. Which comes in kind of handy when you're doing some uh, some techniques like it just creates that uh, kind of quicker roll. Uh, you can do it too with an open E string. It's kind of nice, and you can use the, the the pointer finger actually for a separate string. So, and what that is is just a, an E closed onto an A, and then an A octave, and then the G open, which is kind of a a little bit of a split or a. fun things with that you can and what I'm doing is getting the octave close and open up and by using the two different fingers and two different strings some kind of unique rolls and quick uh, it makes you sound like you play a lot faster than you really can um, one of the other things is uh, I've been asked a lot about the mutes and the hammer uh, hammer notes and the muted notes I play drums as you probably see in the background so I transferred a lot of the rhythms that I played uh, on drums onto the bass and and what that is basically is not really per se hitting the note. It's basically muting the note over the over the uh, actual fret. kind of a, a sound going almost like a, a, a kick drum and bass drum or and snare uh, and toms would sound so you can do a lot with that also practice moving between the strings posting some more things in the future so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy some of these things and uh, and be able to pick up a few techniques uh, that might be useful to you I said uh, funk is kind of a fun thing to play